Hey everybody, this is Sunny and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to review this mic. This is the Shure MV7 Plus dynamic microphone. Now this is the latest mic from Shure and this is the successor to the very famous Shure MV7 mic which was launched about four years ago. Now Shure has come out with this upgraded model with some new welcome changes. So let's just go ahead and review this mic now. I bought this mic from the Shure India website for 26,640 rupees and in the US you can get it for somewhere around 280 US dollars. I already did an unboxing video of this mic some time ago and uh, you can find the link to that video uh, somewhere up here. I'm going to put it up for you. Uh, do check out that unboxing video and you can see what comes with the mic. For your information, just comes with the mic itself and there's a very long USB-C to C cable. That's really nice. And of course, some literature and that's it. Now the Shure MB7 Plus is a combo USB-C and XLR mic. Now what does that mean? You have both the options here. You can either use the USB-C port or the XLR port to record your audio. Now the beauty of this is that you don't need any additional equipment like a power source or an audio interface to record via USB-C. You just connect this mic to an Android or an iPhone, tablet or a PC or a Mac and just start recording your audio. You don't need to do anything else. Of course, there's a sure app that comes along with it, which we will talk about later in this video. But it's the simplicity that's the beauty of this mic and the high quality audio that you can get with such a simple setup. Now, the previous gen Shure MV7 also had this feature, but that was micro USB. Now, as you know, we are all moving towards USB-C and that's going to be the future. So you just need one cable to carry along with you instead of carrying a separate micro USB cable and you can get all your recordings done in very high quality. Now, this mic also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone out jack. So you can connect a pair of headphones here and monitor your audio while you're recording in real time without any latency. So just for your information, for those who don't know what latency is, latency is the delay in time when you speak into the microphone and the signal comes routing back to your headphones. There is a very slight delay that happens because the signal goes through your mic and through the equipment and comes back to your microphone and there is a very slight delay which is sometimes perceptible and it's a little disturbing. Just a small note about this USB-C cable that comes with the Shure MV7 Plus. Now, this is a very nice and long USB-C cable. I tried using another USB-C cable with this mic and that did not work. Now, this cable was the cable that came with my Samsung S24 Ultra phone, thinner cable. And I tried connecting the mic with that cable to my Samsung phone and it did not work. So just bear in mind that it would be better to use the included USB-C cable rather than a third party one some of them would probably work maybe a better quality cable but it's better to use the included USB-C cable so just keep that in mind now the mic itself is quite rugged and looks very similar to the previous gen Shure MV7 of course the main difference being the USB-C here from the micro USB on the Shure MV7 and here we have now new RGB LED strip which also acts like a capacitive mute button so I'm just going to try and tap this capacitive button which uh And now I unmuted the mic again. So that's a mute button as well as an RGB LED strip, which you can also customize to different colors and different um, animations. In the app, there's a Sure Motive app. You can customize this light, which is on top here in the app. So now let's get on to some sound tests and uh, let's see how the mic sounds when connected to different sources like uh, an iPhone and a computer and also we will do some sound tests with the USB-C and the XLR ports. Okay, so now I've connected the Shure MV7 Plus to an iPhone via the USB-C cable. Now one note here that when you connect the Shure MV7 Plus to an iPhone, you cannot connect it via the included USB-C cable that comes with the iPhone. You have to use an adapter here like I've used here, which is a lightning to USB-A adapter. And then from there, I have a USB-A to USB-C cable going into the MB7+. Plus. So make sure of this. You, I think this only uh, happens on uh, the phones with the lightning connection. The newer phones, the iPhone 15 and above that, which is going to have come out now, uh, which have a USB-C connection. I don't think that problem should occur, but 
please keep that in mind so you may need another set of cables to connect it to an iphone it works perfectly well with an android phone no problems at all and the app functionality is also similar on an on an android phone so now we're going to just uh, open the motive audio app i can also hear myself because i'm connected via headphones to the mic so i'm able to hear what i'm saying so we're just going to check out the app itself what are the features in that because the app really enhances the functionality of the mv7 plus so here in the app as you can see you have the name of your device the mv7 plus and uh, you have your monitoring here of your audio signal you also have the device name and there's something called the lock mute switch now when you do this what happens is that this mute capacitor switch gets disabled so when i press mute here now it won't mute the mic so this is very useful when you have these accidental touches and your mic gets mute uh, muted so that will prevent it so you can switch it on or off your good feature uh, again now this is on an auto gain now very interesting to know this auto gain feature which is here say i move away from the mic usually what happens is there's a proximity effect in most of the mics especially in uh, dynamic and condenser mics and which don't have this functionality when i move away from the mic my voice should get lower when i speak so when i'm moving away now from the mic the, my volume is getting lower but in some time, I'm speaking at the same volume actually and the mic is compensating for that distance from me and the mic and increasing the volume. Did you see that? So now, even though I'm a little farther away from the mic, my volume doesn't change much. So the mic compensates for it and does it automatically. This is a really good feature, I think, when you're um, having podcasts and people and guests who keep moving away from the mic and uh, the volume tends to get low. And if you don't have someone who is monitoring this mix, this does it for you automatically i mean it does quite a pretty good job i must say and now i'll close uh, move closer to the mic and you can see it should actually increase the volume but it's keeping it somewhat in the same level it takes a few seconds to kick in but i think it's quite a good feature to have so of course if i turn off the auto level uh, you have uh, manual control on your gain over here uh, then you also have a functionality of a limiter now when you put a limiter and also a compressor now a compressor will, uh, you know, you can apply this light, medium or heavy compression on your audio signal depending on what you like. So these manual controls are available when you turn off the auto level. When you turn it on, you don't have these functionalities available for you. So I'm just going to switch it off now. And uh, of course there's a limiter. You know what a limiter can do is that it can reduce background noises uh, if you want to do that kind of thing and you can tweak the sound as you like. Uh, you also have something called tone control. Now, what this does is that it adjusts the tone of your voice if you want it darker or natural or there's a bright setting. So I'm just going to move this slider now. Now, this is the dark setting. So probably you can hear my voice has gone a little more muffled and darker and there's a little bit more bass in the voice. I'm going to move it all the way up and now you can see that there's a lot more treble in the voice. And it's much more sharper. A lot of sibilants are more prominent. Or you can just keep it back to natural. Uh, you also have a reverb effect on this. Now, keep in mind, of course, that all these effects, when you turn on, it's going to get baked into your recording. You are not going to be able to change that after you record. So if you like that kind of thing, of course, you can turn on a reverb. Now, this is a studio reverb. You can increase or decrease the intensity of it. This is maximum. This is a studio. Uh, you also have a plate reverb. And of course, there's a hall. Now, I sound like I'm in a cathedral. Woo! See? You also have a high pass filter if you want to apply that. And, you know, doing that makes... Uh, the changes to your audio signal really good you have a lot of features here this is one of my favorite this is the real-time denoiser and i think this is one of the best features of this app and for this mic now i'm just going to switch it off now in my room i have a ceiling fan that is on i'm living in mumbai india hot tropical city and uh, it's really hot and humid and i have an air conditioner on as well so if i turn off the denoiser you can see that a lot of these background noises are coming in and the mic is picking it up. Uh, you probably couldn't hear that before because the denoiser was on. Now you can hear, I think, some of the sounds from the ceiling fan. And you know, we are in Mumbai, it's a crowded city, so you have a lot of background noises and this is an apartment. This is not <clears throat> a sound-treated studio room. This is a normal uh, living room. And uh, this is, I think, very good for people who are starting out and don't have a sound-treated room. 
to have a feature like this, which they can just use and uh, eliminate a lot of the background noise. Now I'm going to just remove the, put on the denoiser and you can see a lot of that noise is gone. Isn't that amazing? And the best part is when you do this denoising in post, unless you are really good at it, you know, you remove some nuances from your voice as well, from your audio signal when you remove background noise manually. Lay people like us who are just starting out and, you know, who don't have that much of knowledge, this kind of thing is really a blessing. And here you have something else called a popper stopper. Does what it says. A popper stopper is what stops these pops and plosive sounds that come into the microphone. Like, uh, so I've just put it off now so you can see if I say pizza, Peter Piper, you know, these breath sounds that come into the mic, which are quite disturbing. When you turn it on, it reduces that to a big extent. So even though you have a pop-up filter, some of these uh, plosive sounds really uh, don't sound really good, like Peter Piper, Pizza, Pronto. So that is a popper stopper, which is also new. The re uh, real-time denoiser and the popper stopper are new on the MB7+. Plus. To be very honest with you, I didn't find the popper stopper to be that dramatic uh, change reducing plosive sounds. The mic itself, I think, is quite good with reducing plosives. The new pop-up filter which is there on the mic is um, quite effective as well and I didn't find it very effective but it's there if you would like to use it. So that was an overview of the um, Motive app on the iPhone which is connected to the Shure MV7 Plus directly and these are all the wonderful features that you get which enhances the usability of the MV7 Plus. Okay, so now I've connected the Shure MV7 Plus to my Mac computer via USB-C and uh, as you can see now I opened the uh, motive mix software and uh, here I can see my monitor levels. So this is the input selected Shure MV7 plus and here I can see my levels and of course I can also add if I want my MacBook Pro microphone it will monitor that as well. I can add and delete channel strips. Now I can also access all the settings to enhance and to modify the sound through the Motive Mix app. So here you have again the gain control. So here I have kept it on auto level. Then you have also the tone controls. So I can make the tone darker if I want or I can make it brighter if I want. You can make out the difference in the sound or I can keep it natural as it is. I can also add a reverb effect Keep in mind that this reverb effect will get baked into your audio signal so you will not be able to remove that after you record the audio. So here you have all these effects like this is the studio effect and you can uh, change the intensity. You have a plate effect and a hall effect. This is like a cathedral hall. Same thing like I showed you on the uh, iPhone app. It's the same on the iPhone, on Android, on PC and Mac with one difference of course and let, let's just see all the settings here. Here you have also the denoiser, the real-time denoiser. And I, as I said, this is really an excellent function. Now, if I turn this off, you can hear probably in the background all the noise. The fan is on, the AC is on, and you can hear background room noises. One click of this button and really blocks out unwanted noise. And the difference between the phone app and the app on the PC or the Mac is that you can modify the settings of this LED strip which is over here and you can add different colors to it. For example, now I don't know if you are able to see on the camera, I'll try to uh, tilt the mic a little bit. So now you can see that it is uh, purple and I can adjust the brightness of this from low, medium, high and max. I hope you can see this on camera. This is low, medium, high and max and you can also have this live setting. So as I speak into the mic, it's voice activated now and there's a pulsating setting and of course this is the solid color and you can also customize this color over here in the app you can make it blue if you like yeah you can change it to whatever color you want and uh, that's really cool so that's the app which is there on the pc and like i said you can only use it when you connect it via usb-c and you can't use it when you have your mic connected via xlr i hope uh, you got a good idea of what you can do with the Motive Mix app because that really enhances the functionality of the Shure MV7 Plus. Okay, so now I have connected the Shure MV7 Plus via XLR output to a Steinberg UR22C audio interface, which is then connected to my MacBook via USB-C. So this is uh, traditionally how you would use an XLR microphone. And uh, this is how it sounds with the XLR output. Uh, let me know how it sounds. I have the Motive Mix app open here on my Mac. 
as you can see i can monitor my levels and everything and of course if i open a door like um, a digital audio uh, workstation like um, garage band uh, i can definitely uh, monitor my levels increase it decrease it but in the motive mix app now since i'm connected via xlr i don't have access to any of the settings that is there in the motive mix app which i had used uh, when i was connected via usb c so that's a big difference here and uh, you can also see one more thing that the rgb led is turned off so that will not function when you're connected via xlr it will only work on usb c so this is how it sounds uh, connected via xlr uh, the sure mv7 plus let me know how this sounds so to summarize the sure mv7 plus is an amazing sounding mic which has the dual capability of being used as an xlr mic like a traditional microphone or you can use it with usb c directly connected to a phone or a tablet or a pc so that makes it very versatile it also has very good plosive rejection with this new pop filter and you can do a lot of tweaking with the motive mix app which is available for ios android and for pc and mac add to that it has got upgraded with usb c it has got this nice cool led rgb strip so that really gives a good vibe and gives a very good overall feel to the microphone should you upgrade from the mv7 to this mic well it all depends on you because this mic doesn't come really cheap so if you're very happy with the mv7 and you are okay with the micro usb connection then i think you should stick with the mv7 because that also is an amazing sounding microphone the sure motive mix app enhances the capability of this mic and it gives you a lot of functionality like uh, reverb dsp and uh, background noise rejection and a lot more so you can really tweak and make this mic sound the way you like it to be well the sure mv7 plus is not cheap it is an expensive mic but for what you get i think it's really worth it you have dual connectivity you have the app and of course there are competitors like rode and uh, other mics from sure and sennheiser and also samson they make uh, very good mics but then having this dual connectivity uh, an app amazing sure sound actually gives it a very well rounded package and i think it's very well worth the price so i really hope you like this video and it helps you to make an informed purchase decision whether to buy the sure mv7 plus or to stick with your previous mv7 if you did like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comments what mic are you using and would you ever consider getting the sure mv7 plus well thank you so much for watching this is sunny signing off for now and i shall see you in the next video